Okay, next in the phase of the retracts, I'm going to go ahead and remove my complete system here, which is the camera, receiver, battery, and retractable landing gear system, and I'm going to put it on one of my other 350 quadcopters and see how that goes. I originally put this all on here. This is way stronger than you think. You know, we could put metal in here, we could bend them, we could make all kinds of ways you can do your landing gear, but this is kind of the way I did it. It's strong. We're going to take this whole thing off and put it on something else now, and uh, that'll be fun. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. Okay, there we go. As you can see, there's my all in one module. I'm going to go put that on the Phantom now. And uh, I can go put this one with no camera. We can go back to flying it the way it was here. So uh, let's go. Let's see what goes on here. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can put my landing gear module on the Blade 350. Um, you know, the issue here is, of course, its compass. So I'm going to have to uh, put that on whisk. Hmm, which way should I do it? Or well, I think they should be straight ahead, forward flight. Well, although I like the looks of it with the landing gear would come up this way, um, in reality they would show in the camera, so I'm going to put them out the sides. That's the reason for that. Okay, I'm using uh, some thin Velcro on this. This is hollow under here. It's not real strong plastic, but it's going to be enough to hold it because my main uh, bolt down is going to be right here, and this will keep it back, and I'll still be able to reach the switch. So let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, one of the things you know you got to know because the lens is offset on the GoPro, uh, if you really want to be down the center, you have to mount it onto the side. So that's what I've done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, aim the camera out the back here, mainly because uh, you might be able to see that landing gear go down. Okay, it's all mounted. Uh, it all looks good to me. Let's test it here. Turn on my transmitter and turn on the unit. wait 15 seconds for the arm because it's to get a fail safe in it so your landing gear is not going to collapse when you're on your plane. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. So this is the compass. Mounted it right here. I still haven't found anything better that I like than these wire caps. They just screw on and these carbon fiber rods are tough. Let's take it out and fly it and see what happens. You know, there's a power takeoff inside. I could probably use that and I wouldn't need any of these batteries. But uh, I do like the onboard batteries. And if you're going to use batteries uh, like this, you want to use these energizers. There's quite a bit lighter and last longer, uh, too. So uh, lightness is the big thing. Remember to hit that.
Well, thanks kindly for watching, folks. Please stay tuned for the next project, which will either be putting my landing gear module on the DJI Phantom or the Walkara 350. I'm not sure which yet. Yeah.